Hi guys, it's Sam and I'm back for another video. It's going to be another haul video and I wasn't planning on filming this but I was like since I have my makeup on I went to a baby shower earlier and I'm wearing a brighter lip than I usually do and my hair is down I thought I would film a video and I promise the next one next video will not be a it's not going to technically be a haul video but it is i got uh some things from a cosmetics through qvc and i thought you know what instead of just doing a haul video why don't i do a uh, first impressions try on and i could do almost a full face of makes makeup the only things that i don't have from a cosmetics are color face products like blush and contour things so i'll probably have to substitute that but that's going to be my next video. I'm kind of excited for it because I have brushes. I even have mascara, which um, I don't know if I could do a full face of makeup with other brands. I probably could, but this is, I like, I really like it's cosmetics products. So I'm excited to do this video. And there's some new things in there that I haven't tried yet. Okay, so on to this video. The first thing I'm going to share with you is something phone related. So when I got my new phone, I, they were having a special where you could get something similar to airpods and they call these the galaxy pods or buds i'm sorry galaxy buds and so that's the box that came in and these are worth i think 130 dollars so i was super excited and the color is great uh this is what it looks like in um the case and let me open it up and it lights up it lets you know if it's charged or not charged and that's what they look like so really excited this looks like a context case to me by the way uh really excited to have these and hopefully i'll try them soon i tend to like just hold on to stuff without trying them and now on to macy's I love the brand that they have called Style & Co. The clothes are just really comfortable. I don't get a lot of them. I just get like a couple of things from that range, I mean, from that line that I love. So jeans are one of them and tops are another. And I am going to show you both. So the first thing here is a tank top and it's a loose fitting, perfect for spring. I know black, <laughs> really stepping outside of the box with the colors here, but just really nice and comfortable the neck is pretty high not too high where it's like up to here but i like to wear it especially for i like to wear high neck stuff especially for work because i am down on the floor a lot i bend over a lot so um it just is that extra padding there and this is really nice they had several colors so if you don't like black they have other ones okay next are a pair of black jeans uh, these are the high-rise ankle pants, and I know, um, I usually get petite, but I have come to find that the regular size pant, ankle pant, is like the perfect height for me, and I can pull them up because they're high-rise, and it just fits really nicely, so I love those, and then I wore these today, I like this color too, and this one is this skinny leg. But regular too, which is surprising to me because usually I get petite and it's like the perfect length. But these fit really well too. Okay, next is a pair of slip-on shoes. Look like this. I don't have a color like this and I thought it would be really nice for, for spring and summer. And these are the brand Naturalizer. And these are so comfortable. I don't know if you could see that padding in there, but very, very nice. And... Like I said, I don't own a color like this. So I picked those up. And then we have a random bottle here. I thought this would be really perfect for... I've been having... I'm so sick of yogurt for breakfast. So I've been having shakes. Steve makes hit, Steve makes shakes all the time. So I was like, can you make one for me uh, for work? Um, and he does and it's very filling there's protein powder in there banana fruit I am allergic to a lot of non-dairy milk stuff like almond and soy milk so I've been trying milkadamia which is really good and lactose free I don't think I'm lactose intolerant but just there's so many milk alternatives out there that or dairy alternatives out there that 
I don't know why I'm talking about this, but I got this for smoothies. I've been using mason jars, which I love, but I thought that I would uh, get this bottle. And it has like the rubber or sleeve around it so that you can, if you drop it, there's less like the chance of uh, breaking. And this is dishwasher safe, which is very important to me. Everything I, that I look for that's like kitchen related, I'm like, is it dishwasher safe? I just sometimes you forget what's this washer safe and what's not and i know from ex personal experience that i'm always like wait is that dishwasher safe and then it's just like a hassle okay next this things are far away here uh uniqlo i love these these are airisms and i get uh the size large and this one is in navy i do have another one of these but i have several in each color um, I love these. If you tend to sweat a lot, I just love them for if you're also wearing sheer clothing. These are just amazing. I actually have it on right now. The black one. And this one has the seams. There are ones that are seamless. And those are really nice too if you're looking for like a smooth finish over your clothes or under your clothes. But these are particularly my favorites. And they don't cost that much either. They're about nine, less than $10. So love these. I have... A large amount okay next is these are also another favorites of mine from uniqlo and it's the ultra stretch pants and if you see here they go they're like they're skinny leg and i haven't seen this color before so i got one for me and my sister i love this color they call it pink i call this more of a blush and i love that color so i had to get these and then oh you know what this should have been with the macy's part of the video uh this is a kenzie mirror and my sister got one too she got it she found it for me there was in this macy's it was funny at all the way at the top level they had a section where it was kind of if you got, went to marshall's or tj maxx the cheap makeup section that's what it looked like so she got that for me and we are obsessed with glitter encased in something and then the last two products are from Target where I went today. I was actually going there for for the, what is it, Market Pantry. That's Target's line. And they have seltzer and it tastes like soda to me. I love it. There's one that's flavored tangerine lime. Love it. It is like so good. But they only have Fuji Apple and I don't really like Apple that much. But I should have tried it because I've liked everything else. Uh, but that's all they had was like hundreds of fuji apples uh so i didn't get that but i did end up getting so the lip product that i'm wearing i know i'm wearing a much brighter lip than usual but i love this color it's called crimson sky and it's the revlon ultra hd matte lip mousse and i got this because i was reading a bunch of articles and they were saying this is the best one of the best long wear drugstore uh lipsticks and while I'll say that's true if you don't do anything with your mouth, like kiss somebody or drink without a straw or eat food, it could last all day. But I did have to reapply this uh, before this video because I was eating. And so that was disappointing because I am looking for, um, I mean... I guess I'm, I would prefer drugstore, but high end. So if you guys know of any legit long wearing lip products that you can, you don't have to reapply until the end of the night. Now I have been looking at lip scents, but I don't know if that, if that's, um, and I was looking at up videos and it was like, is it worth it? Is, is the hype real? So let me know what you guys, uh, what your favorite long wearing lipsticks are that can withstand kissing, eating, and drinking. Okay, and then the last product is the a Sonia Kashuk brush from the Essential Collection uh, line, and it's the Flat Top Foundation Brush. And it says it's good for liquid cream stick and powder founda foundation. So it looks like this already has dog hair on it, of course. Uh, I really like Sonia Kashuk stuff. I've been pretty happy with the... The tools that she creates. I don't particularly have, I haven't loved all of her makeup stuff that I've tried, but I like her eyelash curler. That's like one of my favorite of all time eyelash curlers. The only one that's given it a run for its money is the Tweezerman one, but love that. Uh, there's the brush comb, the lash comb that's really great. And a 
few of her brushes that I like. But I got this because I had a Makeup Forever uh, Kabuki brush. And I was considering, and I love that, but something happened and it cracked. So I had to throw it away. And I was kind of... I was going to get the e.l.f. one, but then I opened up the package to feel it, and it was a little too loose for what I was looking for. I need fuller coverage, as you can see. I am breaking out terribly, so with powder, I feel like I need a little bit more coverage, and I feel like denser brushes pick up more product or powder product, in my opinion. So I got this because it is pretty dense, and so hopefully it will work for what I intend, but I think this will also be good for liquid foundation if it doesn't work out for powder. And that is the end of my video. And I just want to show you down here. I shouldn't mess with the camera. But down there, as I mentioned, I am going on a cruise. And I've started little by little to collect things. And I will do a video on that stuff. And I might do uh, when it gets closer to a cruise. Like what I'm bringing, makeup-wise, clothes-wise. And just a bunch of other related cruise videos. I'm so excited. I can't wait. I still have four months to go and um, I'm just I love that part of the trip like planning and thinking about what I'm gonna bring and stuff like that I don't want to overdo it though because I feel like if you plan too much you kind of miss out on the like the surprises of the moment uh, but yeah I hope you guys enjoy this video I promise the next one won't be all haul related and I'll talk to you guys soon bye